It's starting to get a little warmer outside and I don't wanna turn on my oven, so I'm gonna use the air fryer today. So you guys loved my last air fryer recipe, the 10 things you didn't know you could make in an air fryer. So I thought I would make one pretty similar to that because it was fun. So today I'm sharing with you five things you didn't know you could make in your air fryer. All right, if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. All right, the first recipe I am attempting to try is homemade croutons. Now I've seen this a few times, so I thought, why not try it out? You can also make this a little bit healthier too if you wanna use wheat bread, but I'm using the good white bread today. First, you're gonna take two tablespoons of butter and melt it. All right, you're just gonna cut the bread into little bite-sized pieces, the same size that you like your croutons. So I have two tablespoons of butter melted in here, then we're gonna add one teaspoon of parsley, a half teaspoon of onion powder, and a half teaspoon of garlic salt. Then just mix it all together. So now I'm just gonna add all my croutons to a bowl and pour my butter mixture on top. Then just go ahead and coat all of the bread. Okay, let's pull out our air fryer. We're just gonna put our bread in there and spread it around so it's just a single layer. Okay, go ahead and put it in. Okay, so you're gonna go to 390 degrees, and then we're gonna go to s about five to seven minutes. Let's check it at five minutes, see how it is. Okay, let's see if it worked. Holy, those look so good. I would say yes, it worked. All right, we made like a little Asian salad to go with our homemade croutons. I'll put a link down below for you if you want that recipe. But I just need to try it, guys. I need to try the croutons. There we go. <laughs> oh my. It makes a homemade salad even better with the croutons. Okay, I'm giving this five out of five. That's how good it is. Okay, the next recipe I'm making is ground turkey. Now, I've made ground turkey in the Instant Pot. You can cook it from frozen. I love the thought that you can just throw it in the air fryer and not really think about it. So we're gonna attempt trying thawed ground turkey in the air fryer. Here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna dump in my ground turkey into it. I'm just gonna leave it just like that. We'll break it up in a little bit. Then we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper because you need a little bit of seasoning right now. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper and just a little bit of garlic powder. All right, let's throw this in. Okay, I'm gonna use my chopster just for a second. We're just gonna break it up just a little bit so it will be able to cook all the way through. We don't want any pink meat in the middle. Okay, so we're gonna put this in. We're gonna do power 400 degrees for five minutes. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's been about five minutes, let's pull it out. It's not the prettiest. But it's not done yet. You can tell that it's cooking on the outside, so we'll chop it up a little bit more so it will cook all the way through. Okay, let's throw it back in for about three minutes. All right, let's pull this out, see how it is. Oh, it worked really well. Okay, now I'm just gonna break it up. Oh, I am a fan of this, so you don't have to be over the stovetop cooking. One thing is, I noticed as I was doing it, I wanna show you on the bottom, is that there is some that fell through, so you wanna make sure you grab that too so you don't lose some of your meat. So I might have cheated just a little bit and used some manwich to make some sloppy joes with the ground turkey. I added a little bit of pickles, some whole wheat buns. I'm all about simple, easy recipes in the summertime. So this is super simple, especially using the air fryer. So let's try it out. Mm. You know, I'm surprised. I'm surprised the turkey is so good with being cooked in the air fryer. So I'm gonna rate this one a four out of five, mostly because some of the ground turkey fell through the air fryer. It wasn't my favorite thing to try and like dig it out. Other than that, it's, it's delicious. The third recipe we're gonna try is beef jerky. We're gonna try it out, see if it works. Okay, so we have some bottom round thin sliced meat here. So we're gonna just cut into this. So this beef is really, really thin, just how we want it, because we're making beef jerky. Now we just need to cut it into beef jerky strips. So we're just gonna slice this up a little bit. We're gonna slice into about one inch strips or so. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just so it's sliced. Okay, we've cut all the beef jerky. Now it's time to just make the sauce. 
So first we're gonna add just a half cup of brown sugar, a fourth cup of Worcestershire sauce. Now this is called liquid smoke. It's one of my favorites. You can find it at every grocery store. So we just need one tablespoon of that liquid smoke. Now we just need one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and then one teaspoon of smoked paprika. You wanna make sure it's smoked. Then I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of this Caribbean jerk sauce. This is Buffalo Wild Wing sauce and it's one of my faves. Then you're just gonna mix it all together. This is our sauce where our meat is gonna marinate. Okay, now it's time to put our beef jerky in. You just wanna make sure that the pieces are not stuck together, that it's just individual pieces and we'll put them right on top of each other. Then we're gonna cover this with plastic wrap and let it sit in the fridge overnight. Now let's get cooking. All right, this looks so good. I, I'm really hoping it works. Okay, now we're just gonna get one piece at a time and we're gonna put them on a skewer. And you just want a little bit at the top, enough that it won't fall off. Then we're just gonna go all the way down to the bottom of the skewer. So we're just gonna do one piece at a time and just put a lot of pieces on this little skewer. Now as you're putting them on, you want them to be about an inch apart. So we're gonna, hopefully they won't stick together as they cook. Okay, this one's ready to go. We're just gonna bring it right over with our skewer and just put it on the air fryer just like that. So go ahead and put it into the air fryer. You're gonna cook it at 180 degrees for 45 minutes. So let's see if this works. They fell a little, they fell a lot. That one stayed alive. Okay, these didn't stay up as well as I had hoped. This one did but they actually still look like they're still getting cooked pretty good. They'll just be a little scrunchy, which is fine. Okay, we're gonna try and put these back up. We gotta keep, keep on cooking them until they're cooked all the way. So hopefully they'll stay, we'll see, here we go. Okay, there's like 12 minutes left, but I'm gonna just check on them. Ooh, yeah, those sticks are not working very well. I feel like you can even lay them down, but I think for the most part, it's still working like really well. Okay, let's pull one of these out. Okay, this is looking so good. I don't like my beef jerky really hard and this is like tender. I love this. So you can kind of see they're a little bit oily so we're gonna put them on a paper towel and try and get all the oil out of them because we want these as dry as can be. Give that a try. Oh my. I'm never going back to store-bought. <laughs> That's so good. All right, the next recipe I'm making is called Cinnamon Roll Bites. Now, I grew up in Utah and there is this little place called Hometown Buffet. We used to go like a few times a year. It was my favorite place, but you could get these little tiny cinnamon roll bites they were my favorite, so I'm excited to try and make them for you today, so we'll see how it goes. Now I know I'm cheating just a little bit, but we're gonna use canned cinnamon rolls. We're gonna make them taste really good. Okay, so first we're gonna need a third cup of sugar and a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and then we're just gonna mix this all together. And then with these little biscuits, you have a few options. You can cut them with a knife. I personally like to cut them with scissors. It just makes it go by so much faster. So we're gonna cut them into fourths so we can have these little cinnamon roll bites. All right, so you're gonna just take your little piece, you're gonna dip it in your mixture, roll it all around, and then just put it into your air fryer bottom. If you notice, we put them on parchment paper just to make cleanup a little bit easier. And we're going right in the air fryer. Down to 325 and then we'll just cook them for three minutes. There we go. Okay, three minutes, let's check these out. Ooh, all right, they're coming, they're coming. We're just gonna flip them now. We're gonna cook them for about another two to three minutes. I might try two minutes and then just check because we don't want them to burn. All right, just gonna stick them back in for two more minutes. Okay, they should be done. Ooh, they didn't burn extra two minutes. They got a little brown on top, but I think they're gonna be just fine. Let's, let's try them out. Now you have a few options. You can dip it in cinnamon sugar again if you want to, to get that extra coating, and then dip it in some frosting. 
Mm. That's really good. Now this would be perfect for like a lazy Saturday morning. I'm a huge fan. I would say mm, probably four and a half out of five. It would be better to make homemade, but for about still pretty good like this. The next recipe I'm making is coconut shrimp. Now I've seen this kind of all over TikTok, so I thought it's gonna be a fun one to make, perfect for like family dinner if you guys are shrimp lovers. So let's give it a try. So I'm gonna start with about a pound of shrimp. This is thawed, ready to go. Then in the second bowl, you're gonna have two eggs, and we're just gonna whisk them together. Then in this last bowl, we're gonna add a half cup of flour, a half cup of pinko crumbs, and then a three fourths cup of shredded coconut. This is the sweetened kind, that's my favorite kind. Then you're just gonna add a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt, just to taste. Then just mix this all together. So first, what you wanna do is spray the bottom of your air fryer pan with some olive oil. And I just buy this olive oil just to make my life a little bit easier so I don't have to brush it on. If you don't have this, brushing is just fine. Now we're just gonna take our shrimp, we're gonna go over to the egg, dip it in. I love keeping my tail on so it's something for me to hold on to. Then we're gonna go into this one and coat it both sides. You want it really good. And then we'll just put this right into the air fryer. Okay, we're gonna put these in, cook them at 400 degrees for just seven minutes. There we go. All right, let's pull these out. Oh, they're looking good. Okay, we're just gonna flip them and then cook them for just a little bit longer. Oh yeah, they're turning nice and brown on that side. We're gonna put it back in 400 degrees for three more minutes. All right. Ooh, they look good. They look really good. All right guys, taste test, let's try this. Ignore the baby crying in the background. Hmm, it's pretty good. Not my favorite. A little too much flour. I probably wouldn't add as much, but mm, I would still eat it. I'll, I'll give this like three and a half out of five. Not my favorite, but still, still pretty good. Now, if you want more air fryer recipes, you can find them just right up there. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.